an old story, and I think it may be true, about the time Abraham Lincoln uh, bought a slave, went down to the slave market and did it, and did it, and won this young black woman. And uh, when they were walking off, she was not happy. Another honky, another white man was going to buy her and then use her and abuse her. And Lincoln turned to her and said, you're free. She said, oh, yeah. He said, yeah, you're free. Can I say what I want to say? And Lincoln said, yes, you can say whatever you want to say. Uh, she said, can I go wherever I want to go? And Lincoln said, yes, young lady, you can go wherever you want to go. Then she said, with tears streaming down her face, I'll go with you. I never met a Christian who didn't want to be better, ever. And we're not. And when we recognize it, we get better. Never met a Christian who didn't want to be better. And we're not. And when we recognize it, we get better. How about that? One other thing, and then I'm out of here. I want you to note the burden that Jesus puts on this prostitute. It is so cool, I can hardly stay of it. There is no burden. Now, if I've been there, and I'm sure the Pharisees thought this, Jesus, don't just forgive her, get her into a solid Bible-believing Jewish synagogue. You're not just going to leave it like that, Lord. But have somebody disciple her. There are things she needs to know. And tell her. And tell her that if she, if she ever sleeps with another man out of marriage, that you're going to give her the fever and she'll die. Not a bit of that. Not a bit of it. He said, you're forgiven. That's it. Yeah. You're forgiven. 